everyone! So today I am doing kind of a different video. I'm going to show you how to dress to accentuate your waist and make it appear smaller and kind of get the hourglass figure and also some new stuff that I recently bought. It's not that much, so that's why I thought that I would show it in this video. You know, just stuff I got for Christmas and then just like things I picked up like just, you know, when you're just shopping around. I honestly don't have that much stuff because I don't really do a lot of clothing shopping. I just yeah, I kind of rewear the same things. I'm, I'm kind of cheap that way. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Even if this is not something that you usually come to my channel for, and maybe something you're not that interested in, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have fun today. I could just feel it. Okay, so for the first part of this video, I want to talk about how you can dress to make your waist appear smaller, some tips, different things that I like to buy. The first way that you can kind of make your waist look smaller, and especially for all my girls that are working out at the gym and you're getting closer to your goals and you kind of just want to show off your body a little bit. I mean, nothing wrong with celebrating your body and loving the way you look. I mean, that's just, that's confidence right there. So yeah, okay, so the outfit that I wore last weekend was a high-waisted outfit with a cropped sweatshirt. So that's one way that you can really make it look like your waist is smaller and that's the high-waisted style. Now I know that that style is not for everyone. My mom said she will never go back to wearing high-waisted jeans or shorts or skirts or anything like that, which is totally fine. If that's the case for you, I do have two other options to make your waist appear smaller. You know, to really give it that va va boom, you know, like whoa, like super small waist look pairing high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts with a crop top that is also kind of tight-fitting and that way you you know you're kind of like boxing out your body like you have the up here and then you have the bottom half so even if you don't have big hips you create this illusion that you do because it's like it breaks up the outfit so you have here a little bit of your stomach is showing and then you have the jeans so it creates this whole nice hourglass figure. American Apparel makes my favorite high-waisted jeans. I think they're so flattering, they're tight in all the right areas. You know they make your butt look good, they make your hips look curvy, and your waist look really tiny. And the key to picking out the perfect high-waisted jeans, just from my experience, I jumped on the high-waisted style really early on when it first started but it was like still kind of a little weird. And I used to get made fun of all the time, like, what, what are you wearing? Mom jeans, mom shorts. I mean, I wore everything high-waisted like six years ago. Um, and people were like, what are you wearing? So I have a lot of experience and I have some cheaper alternatives as well. But the first thing is make sure they fit. If you are trying them for the first time, go to the store, try them on, and you want them to fit close to perfect. If they're too big, there's going to be extra material on the sides, and that's going to make you look wider, and you're not really gonna get the small waist effect. And if they're too tight, well, we know what happens when jeans are too tight and skin hangs over and you get the muffin top look. So I've been on both ends, and you don't want to do that. You want to get your correct size. If you're just jumping into the style or you just don't want to spend $80 on jeans, perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> I'm all about bargains. Asian M makes really good high-waisted jeans. I think that's a great place to start if you kind of just want to like test the waters and see if this style is for you. So just to show you, these are my pair from H&M. And the tag says that they are called the Super Skinny High-Waisted. So, yeah, I mean, you can try them all different places. Uh, I think even Forever 21 makes high-waisted jeans, but their jeans are like my least favorite jeans. The Forever 21 ones are like really like paper feeling. I just don't like the way they feel. I've tried like washing them. Another way that you can make your waist appear smaller is with leggings. So that's what I'm wearing today. And the reason why that kind of works, especially if you wear a tight top or a tight sweater or a crop top with leggings, if you do that, the leggings are really like tight and they like fit your body and like hug to it so they show all of your curves. You know, you wouldn't want to wear leggings if you were trying to hide your curves unless you're wearing like black ones, but even then, like you can really see your whole body type with leggings. The ones I'm wearing today are from Garage and they are so cheap, they always have deals. My favorite leggings though are from Aritzia, they are just the best, but if you want a cheaper alternative, then I would definitely try the garage leggings. They always have like a sale too, like buy five and you get them for this price. So I ended up buying every color because the sale was like buy five or something for, I don't know, I think like $30. So they're really good, they're thick, you can't see through them and I like them. 
And I think sometimes the thicker the leggings, like not so thick where they're thermals, but like the thicker the leggings, like the more material. So it does like show the curves and the hips and the butt. So yeah, and I think thinner the opposite. The thinner the leggings, the less it kind of shows. And my last tip is really great, especially if you just don't like the high-waisted jean style or you just want to switch it up, and I do this all the time, and you just tuck in your shirt. It's so simple. So whatever jeans you're wearing or whatever shorts, if you just tuck in your shirt and you can, you know, like wear a really form-fitted shirt or a leotard, like American Apparel has leotards and so does Forever 21 and ASOS, which is an online store, you know, you can just tuck it in. So like the shirt I'm wearing today, I could just tuck it into any kind of jeans. They could be low rise, they could be mid rise, anything, high waisted, whatever. As long as I just tuck in the shirt, you're making your waist appear smaller. And it just, I don't know, it gives you like this nice curvy body. And I think that that is so adorable. Okay, so now I wanna move into the clothing items that I recently purchased. And the first is the shirt that I'm wearing. So I have not been to Pack Sun in so long, and then I saw that my Pack Sun in the Garden State Mall in New Jersey, that one carries Brandy Melville. I don't know if they all carry Brandy Melville, but that one does, and my mind was like blown. I was like, what? Brandy Melville's here? Because I always go to the one in Soho in New York City, and I was just like, whoa, now I don't have to order online, because I don't always get to Soho. Now I can go to Pack Sun and they have like their popular pieces. So I got this in that section, but I don't know if this is actually a Brandy Melville shirt or if it's a Pack Sun shirt, but it was kind of like thrown in that side of the store. Okay, so the next two items I'm going to talk about are two jackets that I got. So the first one is this leather jacket. I am always on the hunt for a leather jacket. That is just my favorite. I just my eyes always go straight to a leather jacket, and <laughs> the one recently that my eyes went to was in Aritzia. I was like, yes, getting this, like, cha-ching. And then I looked at the price tag, and it was $598, and I was like, oh, God. So I went to Nordstrom's, and I got this jacket in the size extra small, and it's called Blank New York City, and it looks like this. And this was $98, so that was a lot better than $568. The next jacket I got is also from Nordstrom's, and this one I got for Christmas, and it's really, really cute. Look at it with those buckles. How cute is that? And then the fur in the back, and it's like long enough where you can wear a semi-long sweater with it. You can't wear like a long, like long sweater to your knees with it, or it won't cover. I don't like the way that looks. And I actually wore this on Snapchat last weekend and a lot of people were asking me where I got this jacket. So yeah, it's from Nordstrom's in the top <laughs> Nordstrom's top shop section. Woo! Right. I'm out of breath. I went all the way downstairs and grabbed all my shoes. So are my three favorite shoes. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so first I bring you the Converse. America's favorite shoes. <laughs> okay, so I have the all white ones and yeah, okay, nothing really, nothing like different about my Converse than anybody else's, but I I honestly think these look great with everything. I wanna get a pair of the high top ones so that I can kind of switch up my outfits, but you can wear these with high-waisted jeans, you can wear these with skirts and dresses. If you ever wanna dress down any outfit or give it more of like a sporty, like, oh, who's that girl? She's kind of mysterious, like, who are you? Yeah, I wanna get to know you, hit you up. These sneakers really do say all of that. My next favorite sneaker is the Nike Air Max. They look like this. These are so cute. I, I don't think anybody works out in these. I was about to say, like, I don't work out in these, but I don't think anybody does. I mean, they don't have, like, a flexible feel. Like, you can't run in these, but they're still more comfortable than, like, wearing heels or something or, like, boots or something. And once again, the same thing as the Converse, I would wear these. I just think something about them looks more, like, fresh. Like, the Converse kind of looks like, okay, like, yeah, like, you're kind of, like, you know, you're laid back and you like to listen to like chill music and then like the Nike Air Max is a little bit more like fresh, like yeah, I'm feeling my outfit today, like that's when I wear these. And last but not least, I have these, I don't even know what they're called, um, Zoom Pegasus 32. These are my cardio sneakers, but I also wear them with jeans as well and shorts, I wore these the whole time in Disney because they're comfortable but then they're also like cute and stylish. 
I'm wearing them with jeans and it's like, yeah, I'm trying to be laid back with my sneakers, but if you steal my purse, I'm gonna chase after you. Overall though, what I love about the sneaker look, like it doesn't matter what sneakers I decide to wear that day, it makes any outfit the sporty, chic, cute style. And I know every time I wear them, Jared's always like, oh, you look so cute. Like there's something like cute and like girly, but like also like, yeah, like fresh about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish I had more to show you, but I don't really shop a lot for clothes. It's just like, I re-wear a lot of the same clothes. Like even in videos, I'll wear like the same shirt like 10 times before I buy a new one. So yeah, I showed you guys all my new stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye.